In this video, I'm going to show you the config that made me switch from VS Code to NeoVim. But first, we need to answer the question, what exactly is NeoVim? NeoVim is a hyper-extensible Vim-based text editor that runs in the terminal and allows you to customize it with plugins. First off, I'm going to talk about why I wanted to switch to NeoVim. There are two big reasons I wanted to switch over to NeoVim. The first reason is I wanted to have more control over the keybinds. The second reason is I wanted to have more customizability. In VS Code, you can install extensions, but you still don't get that much control over your IDE. But in NeoVim, everything is just text in the terminal, so you can really customize it as much as you want. I had been wanting to switch to NeoVim for quite some time now, but I never did because I never found a good enough config. I tried community setups like LazyVim, which I liked initially, but I often found myself having to search up key maps and just do basic things. Because of this, I decided to make my own NeoVim config called NeoVim Zen. Now I'm going to show you what I think is the perfect NeoVim config. To start NeoVim, I just type in nvim in my terminal, bring me to the start page where I have some different options that I can cycle through with J and K. I also added this cool ASCII art of some dragon heads I found. And then for the options, I can also use these keybinds on the side here. I also included some text saying NeoVim loaded, you know, this many plugins in this much time. Usually I won't see this page because I'll usually like CD into a directory like config slash NeoVim. And then I'll just open up with nvim period or I'll open up a file and that will bring up nvim tree and it won't show me the start page. One big thing I like about NeoVim is how fast and responsive it feels. So if I press space space, it opens up telescope, which is a fuzzy file finder where I can do control J and control K to move up and down. I can also go into normal mode and do like stuff like GG or capital G. And then of course I can search down here for like some file like options and then just press enter and it'll open it up. I can also do stuff like live grep with space FS for find string. So I can search for like telescope. So all instances of the word telescope are all here and it's very fast and I can just jump to any of them. I had a pretty similar setup like this on VS Code where I can press space space and use control J and control K, but it wasn't as good and it would usually take me longer to find the file I was looking for. To achieve this setup, I used this video as a guide to do NeoVim from scratch. This video was super useful because it showed how to set up NeoVim with the lazy.mvim plugin manager and also how to set up stuff like LSP and linting which is exactly what I was looking for. Doing NeoVim from scratch was actually pretty fun and it made me understand and appreciate my editor more. Now I'm gonna talk about actually using my NeoVim setup for coding. So it has all the stuff like a normal IDE would, like I have a file explorer on the side and which is nvim tree. So to use it, I can do J and K to move around or GG and capital G stuff like that and then I can do a to add a file like file.js um, I can do x to cut it and then p to paste it so that's how I move files and then d to delete it and then to create a directory I can do like slash folder and then end it with a slash to signify that it's a directory and I can also just delete it with d I also have stuff like code actions so if I let's say I delete this link like there and then I go to over here, I can do space CA for code actions. And then I can go through this list and I can get an import, like import link from next slash link. And then that'll fix the error like that. I also have stuff like smart rename. So if I wanted to rename this variable, I can do space SRN to rename it. Like let's name it tech like that. And everything will change and it all works. I can also do stuff like create a new tab, which I do with space TT. And then I use shift H and shift L to move left and right. Um, and then I can do space TL to close it. I like to think of it as L is for lose. I know some people keep it as TX, but TX is kind of hard to press. So I keep it as TL. And it's just very fast to create new tabs like this and cycle through them. I also have stuff like split views, so I can do space SS to make a split. And 
I can use Control H and Control L to move left and right. I can also open up my file tree, which is also technically like a split view because I can navigate it through there. And this is because of a plugin I have called Vim Tmux Navigator. So if I also create a Tmux like window down here, I can move all between, you know, all of these windows like this, which is very convenient. So I can be typing in here, like run some command and then move here to edit my code. I can close this window, close that. I can, you know, close this as well. I also added some nice plugins like flash.nvim, which is a plugin. It's kind of like search, but better. So I can press S to open up flash and I can just type some letters. So I'm right here. I typed in CLA for class name. And then if I press W, I jump to this one. If I press like J, I jump to that one. And it's just pretty fast. It also works when I press normal slash and I'm typing for something. It highlights it like that, which is pretty nice. So another thing with my NeoVim config is I like to keep it minimal. So I try to have not too much stuff happening. So I quickly close my sidebar whenever I don't need it. And then you might have noticed I got rid of Lua line or like my status line because I realized I don't really look at it. So why keep it around? So I just got rid of it. But I do still have my Tmux status line because that's useful. And one other thing I forgot to mention is for splits. So space SS creates a new split. And then, you know, I can do control uh, H and L to move around. I can do space SH to create a horizontal split. And I can use control K and control J to move up and down. And then space SL is uh, to close the, the split. So I usually use like some action, you press it twice, like SS makes a new split, or uh, TT creates a new tab, and then SL closes it, or TL closes this tab. So I think of it as L is lose, and you know, if you press it twice, you're creating something new. So it's really easy to remember. You know, in case you forget, you can kind of just sound it out. One last thing I wanted to mention is I like to have my programs be easy to set up and reproduce. So I made a GitHub repository with my NeoVim config. So if I'm on a new machine, I can just clone it and quickly set up NeoVim. Also, I wrote a guide on how to set up NeoVim Zen on my website. You can find it at maxu.dev slash NeoVim Zen. That's it for this video. Bye.